mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Jesus our Lord is exalted above all the three worlds, even the heavens, the earth, and under the earth, and that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord, every knee will bow to the name of Jesus. This morning, we worship you, Jesus, our Lord. Wa manisu chen adinina wa krondu chen adinina na neni shrenche wonina yehini Christu. Otia him on his soul, Wa Manisu Chen Adinina Wa Crondo Chen Adinina Naneni Shrenche Wonina Yehini Christo. Otia him on his soul. In Shiranka Nidim Yehini Christo. No, Niotia him on his In Shiranka. In Shiranka. And so Jesus our Lord, you are exalted, you are exalted, you are exalted above all names in the three worlds, the heavens, the earth, and under the earth. There is power in your name. There is power in your name. There is power in your name. And therefore this morning, we exalt your name. This morning we'll lift up your name. We'll lift it on high. We'll lift your name on high. Receive all the worship in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Jesus, we give you praise. How sweet is the name of Jesus. How sweet is the name of Jesus. How sweet is the name of of Jesus. And so the name of Jesus is exalted above every other name and the disciples of our Lord Jesus right in the first century church they never did anything without mentioning the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus was an 
integral part of their lives and ministry. In fact, Acts of the Apostles is also seen as Acts of the Holy Spirit or Acts of the name of Jesus because the disciples continued the work of Jesus Christ in their generation. And we are also continue the work of our Lord Jesus Christ in our generation. And therefore, we can't do anything outside the name of Jesus. We are what we are because of the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, be exalted and may you be glorified in our lives. Oh, praise God. Yesterday in our devotion, we said that Peter encountered Aeneas who was crippled for eight years but he ministered healing to him in Acts chapter 9 verse 34 and Peter said to him Aeneas Jesus the Christ heals you arise and make your bed then he arose immediately and by reason of that healing many people turn to the Lord and therefore no matter the negative condition that you've been in for many years Jesus is here to minister healing to you in the name of Jesus because there is power in the name of Jesus and this morning we are continuing with the same topic power in the name of Jesus Peter has ministered healing to Aeneas in Acts chapter 9, verse 32 to 35. And then after that report, he heard that one disciple named Tabitha or Tokas was dead. Wow. Let's see how God through Peter ministered resurrection to this woman of God. Acts chapter 9, verse 36. At Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, and which she did, charitable deeds which she did. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. And since Leda was near Joppa, and the disciple had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him imploring him not to delay in the coming to them. Verse 40, But Peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise! And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. Then he lifted, then he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saint and widows, he presented her alive. Mm. And it became known throughout all Judah, and many believed on the Lord. And many believed on the Lord. And so Tabitha, also called Dorcas, per this account, was a woman who was of good works and charitable deeds. She was of good work and works and of charitable deeds. She ministered goodness to as many as were marginalized. She ministered goodness to as many as were in need. And so in this COVID-19 period, there is a time that as a Christian, you also have to extend your hand to the needy. There is a time that you have to help the poor, the marginalized, the needy. Once God has blessed you, bless other people. This woman was found of helping the needy. And so when she died, mm, the people immediately called Peter to come and pray for her. Yes, the people remembered her of her good works. And so wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, it is good to do good. After all, Jesus our Lord, in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, Bible said that how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good. And so he has saved us, he has called us, so that we will also do good unto others. Ah, Tabitha did good to those who were in need. And so when she died, mm, the people had to pray that she will be resurrected. And so they sent people to Joppa because Peter was there. And Bible said that Peter arose and went with them. And when she came to the scene, all the people were weeping. They were crying, yes, because a loved one is caught up to glory. 
And Peter did something so far as our series on the prayer life of the apostles is, called, is concerned. In verse 40, in verse 40, in verse 40, but Peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed. He knelt down and prayed. So I'm saying that the disciples never did anything without praying. And you and I can't do otherwise. In everything that we do, we have to acknowledge Jesus and pray. We have to call on his name to lead us in all our diseases, especially our mental diseases in life. Mental steps that we take, we have to pray. In good season, we have to pray. In bad season, we have to pray. In difficult situations, we have to call on the name of Jesus. And so Peter was confronted with this difficult situation someone is dead Dorcas was dead and once a person is dead he has to be buried but this man of God pray I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that as many as are sick especially in this covenant period and are infected by this virus and are ready to die in the name of Jesus receive your healing I also minister healing to you now in the name of Jesus God, receive your healing. Mom, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, my son, my daughter, receive your healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And may the name of Jesus be glorified. Oh, praise God. And so, Peter knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, to the dead body, he said, Tabitha, arise! And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. Oh, and that will be your testimony this day. In the name of Jesus. Though you are dead, in the name of Jesus. I can be resurrected in the name of Jesus. Though you are dead in Jesus' name, come alive in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that any other thing in your life that is dead will be resurrected now in the name of Jesus. Because Christ in us is the hope of glory. Jesus Christ is in us. And we are continuing the work of our Lord Jesus in our generation receive life, receive life receive resurrection in Jesus mighty name, every form of death, be it spiritual or physical or any other aspect of your life, I minister healing to you, I minister resurrection to you, in Jesus name, Peter ministered resurrection to Dorcas I pray in Jesus mighty name that this morning receive resurrection receive life, life that is found in prayer Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus oh praise God and after he has done the Bible said that he gave her his hand and lifted her up and Peter was fond of doing that because in Acts chapter 3 he did the same thing seven God have I none for what I have I give unto you in the name of Jesus rise and walk and he lifted up the man Wow, this morning I step on my hand towards you that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, liberation will be your portion in Jesus' name, resurrection will be your portion in Jesus' name, hope will be your portion in Jesus' name, grace upon grace is your portion this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus will be your portion in Jesus name glory will be your portion in Jesus mighty name why others are saying there is a casting down you will declare now there is a lifting up because of the name of Jesus at work in you if the spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead dwells in you he who rose Jesus from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit his spirit is at work this morning in the name of the lord jesus let there be resurrection let there be resurrection let there be resurrection in every area of your life in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus and when peter resurrected tabitha from the bible said that and many believed in the Lord. And so the purpose of our miracle is that 
Many people will come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. The reason why Peter resurrected the Peter from the dead was that she will come back alive and continue with her good deed. But the one main reason was that many will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. And indeed, many turn to the Lord. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that because you are healed of the COVID-19, many will come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that because you are healed of this ailment, which was physically and scientifically impossible. Ah, you have received your healing in Jesus' name. You have received your healing, and because of this healing, many people will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Because the name of Jesus is exalted above every other name. You name them, every other name. Is it COVID 19? The name of Jesus is exalted above it. Is it any form of sickness or disease that you know of? The name of Jesus is exalted above every other name. Is it shame? Is it embarrassment? Ah, the name of Jesus is exalted above every other name. Is it poverty? Is it difficulty? Is it persecution? Is it a challenge? The name of Jesus is exalted above every other name. Is it about a personality that is threatening you? The name of Jesus is exalted above every other name. Is it an unseen virus that is killing you and killing your family? The name of Jesus is exalted above every other name. Is it a curse in your family that has affected many people? Some are dead, some are uh, their lives are destroyed. The name of Jesus is exalted above every other name. And therefore, I want to give you the opportunity to accept this name. And when we are done, we will pray together. It is very important. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run unto this name. Even the name of Jesus. And they are secured. And they are safe. Can you repeat after me, dear Jesus? I come to you with all humility. Confessing you, Jesus, as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me of all my sins because you died for my sins according to the scriptures. Grant me the grace to serve you all the days of my life. Give me hope and cause me to love you to the end. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. And so, Lord God Almighty, we bless you this morning because the name of Jesus is exalted above every other name, the three worlds, the heavens, the earth, and under the earth. Ah, we we'll give you praise and bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for working miracles in our lives. In the name of Jesus, thank you for glorifying your name in our lives uh, through the name of Jesus. Thank you that through us the name of Jesus is exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus that we pray committing our lives unto you that every bad situation in our lives uh, will come alive will come alive will be resurrected now in the name of Jesus Tabitha was dead uh, Dorcas was dead uh, but Peter ministered the resurrection to her she came back again and many people turn to the Lord we pray in Jesus mighty name that every form of death in our lives uh, be resurrected now be resurrected now in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus and for you Jesus has swallowed up death in victory and have given us power over death we will not die we will live and declare the works of the Lord we will only die when we finish our divine assignment in this world in the name of the Lord Jesus and therefore I minister resurrection to us many as are dead who have not finished their divine assignment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, terebre katondo. Iba katala basa. Bayende lebre ketelebre katonda. Mazubra katala balaba. Let the wind of healing blow in all the four borders of Ghana, especially as many as are in the individual as well as centers in Jesus' name. Let the wind of healing blow at the globe, at the globe, at the globe, at the globe, at the globe. In the name of Jesus. Minister healing to people. Minister healing to people in Jesus' name. Once again, we pray for your divine intervention that this virus will be completely taken away. 
completely eradicated from the face of the earth in Jesus' name. Father, bring restoration, restoration, restoration. Bring hope, Lord. Bring hope unto us. Bring hope unto your people in Jesus' mighty name. Let your church grow from grace to grace, from strength to strength, from power to power in the name of the Lord Jesus. The first century child, though they went through persecution, the, the word of God grew and multiplied. We pray in Jesus' name, committing the body of Christ, Ghana, the body of Christ worldwide into your hands, that even in the midst of COVID-19, let your church grow from strength to strength, from power to power, from glory to glory, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We commit the day into your hands. May we enjoy your presence. Spirit of God, may we enjoy your presence. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit. May we enjoy your communion, the spiritual communion, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And may our lives never be the same. We want to thank you and bless you for how far you have led us in the name of Jesus. Now, beloved, before I bless you finally, should you need any counseling or prayer, just call the numbers on the screen and our beloved officers will attend to you. God willing, Friday will be our miracle service and our prayer party. And I want you to join us on all our social media handles as we bring you to the presence of God and you and I, our lives, whatever be the same. God willing, Sunday is a gospel day. It's a gospel day. So we'll come your way with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord God Almighty bless you as you go out. May you go with his presence. And as you come in, May you come with his presence. May the name of Jesus be exalted in your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray that every form of death, there will be life. In the name of Jesus. Because death could not hold Jesus captive. Even in the grave, he was Lord. May he be Lord over your life, even now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Blessings. Amen. Good people of Ghana, here are some safety measures on prevention of coronavirus. 1. Cover your mouth with tissue when you cough or sneeze. Dispose of tissue into a bin immediately you cough into it and wash your hands with soap and the running water. Avoid shaking hands and use sanitizers as often as you can. Signs and symptoms of coronavirus include fever, cough, sneezing and difficulty in breathing. Should you experience any of these or for more inquiries, please contact 0558-439-868. That's 0558-439-868 or call 0509-497-700. That's 0509-497-700. Remember to always wash your hands with soap and the running water. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health, the Ghana Health Service and Partners.